Make a panorama. GIMP, Photoshop. In both GIMP and Photoshop, there are many ways to accomplish the same goal. These are perhaps the easiest. Use the method you are the most comfortable with. Read related documentation. Rotate the canvas as needed. In this case, about two degrees. In GIMP, use the rotate tool. Select rotate. Rotate the canvas as needed. In this case, about two degrees. In Photoshop, image, image rotation, arbitrary, again, about two degrees. Increase the canvas size. Don't confuse the image size and the canvas size. In this case, make it about five inches with the extra space to the right. In GIMP, image, canvas size, choose inches. Notice the lock is broken. These will not change in proportion. All I want to do is add space on the width. Press the tab. I get the preview. I see the new space will be added to the right. That's what I want. Resize. I now have additional space to the right of the image. In Photoshop, image, canvas size. Again, there's no lock symbol. These will not be changed in proportion. I choose my new width, five inches. I'm adding the space to the right, so I have my new wider canvas. Use layers to hold the new image. In both cases, we'll need to open the second image, select the entire image, and copy it, and then we can paste that copied selection as a new layer in GIMP. Open the second image. I see the rectangular selection mark, but just in case, I'll select all. Control A is the keyboard shortcut. I'll now copy. Control C is the keyboard shortcut. I switch back to my original image. Edit. Paste as a new layer. Using my move tool, you can see that these layers move independently of each other. You can also see that I have two new layers. In Photoshop, we'll do something similar. There's the new image. Select All, Control A, Copy, Control C, switch back to the original image, Edit, Paste. Using my Move tool, I notice that these move independently of each other. And under my Layers palette, I notice I have my original layer and my new layer. Edit the image as needed. We've already done our rotation. Now it's time to erase what we don't need, line up the elements, adjust the brightness and contrast as needed, then crop away the additional space. In GIMP, make sure the upper layer is selected. Use the rectangular selection tool. I notice this tree is common to both images. It'd be easier to line up based on the middle of that tree. So I'm selecting right down the middle of the tree and I'm choosing delete. Select none to get rid of that selection. Use my move tool. 
And now I can drag that tree and line it up almost perfectly. I notice this highlight here indicating the two images are slightly different in brightness and contrast. On the colors menu, brightness and contrast. Pull the brightness down just a bit and that line of demarcation pretty much disappears. I can now use my rectangular selection tool, select the new area, image, crop to selection. And I'm starting to get a pretty good looking image. I need to do similar steps in Photoshop. Again, this tree is common to both images. I'll use my rectangular selection tool. Make sure I'm on the top layer. Slice right down the middle of that tree. Use my delete key to remove that selection. Use my move tool. Line those two images up. Again, I see a line of demarcation due to the difference in brightness and contrast. In Photoshop, it's on the image menu. Under adjustments, brightness and contrast. Again, I've got the top layer selected. I can reduce the brightness until that line of demarcation disappears. Now I can select image crop. I can now flatten the image and optimize. See other videos for GIMP and Photoshop basics, editing information, and optimization. In GIMP, I can now file, save as an XCF file. This allows me to maintain the layers. After I save the XCF file, I can export it as a JPEG and optimize. Again, the same steps in Photoshop. File, save as a PSD. This will allow me to maintain the layers. After saving, save for web and choose a JPEG to optimize.